Polarian star seeds equals white tigers, Oja's mind dojo children, sun gazing, Chivam Kalpa, bare feet. Open field work, open mind training. I'm coming back from a training session with some kids that I trained today in the park. That was very good. I might get some pads for better working with the children and giving them their power back. So re remembrance is the key word here. And basically remembrance means to <laughs> remember through your own life. <laughs> Where you come from. And obviously We are coming from the stars. I'm pretty sure about that. But to remember your universe, your star seed, which is inside of you, you have to compress yourself, your body. Through air, through light, through emptying out yourself, and through pushing harder while you're empty. This is basically how the ojas are being stored in your field or in your brain. So this is talking about uh, your semen and your eggs. and using that as fuel for your mind, for your brain. This is basically what the whole workings are. They're very easy, but in, in this realm here, we humans tend to um, waste themselves. I'm taking care about everyone protecting the Dharma through nourishing my own oak, my own light, my own tree, and taking care about children. That is basically how I might build up Um, my own dojo. And this is what I will continuously do to build up my own family also. Because I'm, I'm taking I am having open ears to my own mind, to my reflection on process. But also to continuously compress the ojas into my brain. To remember the star which is inside of me. It's inside of everybody. That's basically what the white tiger is for me. That I hold the iceberg, the subconsciousness together. So that's why I'm very good at, I'm better at holding the pads compared to hitting or kicking the pads. Why is that? Because I literally hold up and hold together this realm. This is what I do. See? And this is ain't about 
um, telling you that I'm better or something. That's not the point. But I, I am power through the mind, through the pole, which is the spine, which is the polarian, which is the connection to the original, the first race. Race. It's a red race here because you continuously think you go somewhere but only the mirrors change and your mind space and if you observe that then I know that it's basically an internal compression journey to remember this illusion and then obviously to enjoy it I have trouble sometimes with enjoying it you know with enjoying moments and having fun you know but because I compress myself so much and I put myself in so much in darkness the joyful moments just sometimes appear and they they just come easier so I'm making it very hard sometimes for myself but only to compress my star seat more because that's the truth and this is how I continuously rise So this is what the white tiger is, the white tiger and the little stall, stall, <laughs> installing the, I'm installing the little white tigers here. So I'm, because I, I take care about even the old, oldery and uh, the, the, the adults, but to raise basically the, the higher consciousness, you have to start with the small ones you have to start with the keys with the kids they are the keys to our future so this is why from I would say from the age of five I train you I train the kids no matter what kind of kid it is that doesn't matter I don't have to go to the Africa's and be like hey oh yo these kids don't have what clean water and they don't have food I mean yeah, the, the problem is basically, if you see it from a very bird's high hawk perspective, that they that the truth, the true knowledge is not seeded. And this is what is going to happen with these black mirrors and this is what I'm doing here. Because the truth is that everybody is self-sustaining through Shivamu Kalpa and sunlight. Now, if you figure it out that, everything else is optional. And this is, and, and let me tell you, this is, this is solving all medical problems. This is solving even a lot of educational problems because you would immediately, if you would continuously loop yourself, you, you would immediately tap into your higher consciousness. Now, if you then would just bare feed it, move your body, even if you would not do all these exercises correctly, you would figure out what kind of yoga, what kind of move mind is beneficial for you because each and every human cell is basically the same but we have different uh, roots we have different um, settings and this is why I don't know in the future even in, in the deepest jungles everybody will have a black mirror now then the quest is Will you find your way through the maze run, through the labyrinth of the internet, to the truth? Now basically, that's again a question of how would you perceive your mirror? How would you perceive yourself? But then, every learning process is basically on you. Because learning is a quest of perception. And this, like I said, gets me into, I, I will continuously say that. Sun gazing plus Shiva Mukalpa. Let me tell you what Shiva Mukalpa is. Shiva Mukalpa means applying your urine into your portals. See it? You grow out your hair and you will connect yourself to your higher consciousness. You will remember where you come from. That's why I'm, why I'm speaking about the Polarian star seeds, the pole, the spine. See, the, 
the, the Polarians, the Lemun, the Hyperboreans, the Lemurians, the Atlanteans, the Aryans, the Astro ones, and the Mind ones, the future races. So they are called, I think, the, the, the trumpets and whatever. It's the trumpets and the, the, the something with S. Basically talking about mastering your mind, mastering your brain. This is what this realm here is about. Now you come from mind, you go through all these stages of your reptilian brain, you're connecting, connecting different parts of your brain, and then you basically go to mind again. This is what we do in here. So this is why I'm speaking about the, the original routings, which is the pole, which is talking about the mind, which is talking about the sacred secretion, preserving your semen and eggs, not wasting yourself, looping your own self with Shivam Bukab or urine, going out into the sunlight, also stressing yourself with chaos, which equals in Bobby Hammett's work and melanin and chaos magic, because you are the point of creation. Now from that point on, all the different layers and rainbow colors will be emitted from. This is why the, you shoot out the full color spectrum out of your pupil, out of your senses, out of your navel, which is your novel, which is your story. This is how the workings are. And this is why I'm telling you about the Polarian star seeds. One more time, Polarian star seeds. This is how I manifested. Polarian star seeds. White tigers. Polarian star seeds, white tigers. See, this is what I do. I will get my pads. I will train the kids. This is how I manifest this reality. Because the truth is that everything is encoded in the avatar, in the body. Like in the movie, Avatar. I'm mirroring myself, and I think this guy's even called like J Jake Sully. My name is John Schunemann, John Shamanic. You know, it's all just na given names, but it's about remembering the original workings. Because all the other workings are, even if they are true, they are only tiny fractals of it, and they only give you certain parts of it. But the truth is, the, the complete truth is that you are self-sustaining. And the, the less you will consume, the more you will nourish yourself out of yourself and you will get into your original form. And this is what this whole process is about. This is why I'm saying one more time, Polarian star seeds. Because what you should basically become in here, like a butterfly, like a caterpillar, growing out into growing your wings. This is what Kaleri Payat is doing. This is why my training is, is specifically for connecting yourself to your original form. It's, it ain't about competition. It ain't about measuring certain things. It's about remembering. Remembering who you actually are. And not many people are going straight into sun gazing, going straight into Shivam Bukalpa because it's weird to them. And I understand it. So I, this is why I'm taking a step back and I'm going through move mind and then I go through these different meditational aspects, the mind process, emptying yourself out, burning. You see, this is basically what we should do in here. You should burn because you are the fire. You make fire. And you burn better through ingesting the elements, eating less, even drinking less, only consuming of oneself, going out in the sun, moving yourself and stressing yourself with chaos. This is what nature would do to grow yourself up. This is how you would become stronger. Because being strong has basically nothing to do with size or muscle mass. It has nothing to do with mass, it has something to do with fluxing things through you see how you were how your techniques are this is how because in it's in the end about your nervous system about your techniques see these things because they will stay for a longer period
because muscles come and go, but tendons, I was telling you that in my older videos, tendons, bones, bone marrow, movement, these things are condensed down to the bone marrow, to the, to the truth, to your mind. This is what you will remember over time. Because you could build up your muscle, you could build up your booty. That's beautiful, right? Yeah, of course, booty builders. But you know what the deeper meanings of all these building, booty building, booty buildings are? Because this is where your sexual energy is stored. Now, and this is what will happen in the future. This will is going to happen in the next years because people build up their booties. Now the hip thrusts, and I was doing all of these things, so I know what is why it, why it's happening, and what it's basically doing. You build up your booty. Now this is where your sexual energy is stored, and then you get informed by different things. Now you could get onto the side tracks where you sometimes need a little push, and I'm also needing a little push because basically these videos are only pushing me into the directions of seeding higher knowledge and doing practical work also but it, this is a this is a transition phase for seeding knowledge and getting myself where i would like to be now back to the booty thing you basically compress your seeds your semen for man and your your eggs for the females in pushing up your glutes so your glutes basically grow so this is where your where your roots are sitting in your spine, your lower chakras, your sexual energy. Now you can waste it, and go through all different kind of sexual practices and have different partners and get excited and arousal over there, or you can just wait. But basically you don't wait because you become less dense and you start to move it up into your head. So this is how you would create farts. <laughs> no, this is how you would create basically ogres. No, that wasn't funny that I was farting, I'm, excuse me, but it has to come out, you know. So, but seriously, this is how you would create your higher consciousness because your sexual energy, which is stored in your lower pole, is moved up into your head, into your skull. So this is how you would connect yourself to your subconsciousness, to your higher consciousness, and literally then building up your, your subconsciousness. And then once you build it up from everything, which is basically um, beyond the surface that you don't see here, then you would flip it around. So this is becoming very big and this is, you don't see much on the surface but then you would flip it so everything which is basically in your subconscious then is going to be shown and this is what I'm doing right here right now to um, raise the consciousness and this is what we basically doing with these mirrors but not many people are getting what is basically happening and it's obviously happening for each and every one of us because the the truth is already in you the star seed is already in you the polarian star seed the spirituality is already in you get into shivambukapa urine drinking looping your urine holding shivambukapa in your mouth applying it onto your senses going out into the sun and you will see what i'm talking about fast more and get into ancient knowledge into the chematics, the chems, um, Helena Blavatsky work, Helena Blavatsky's, Helena Blavatsky's work, um, sun gazing, because you will figure out in the end it's only about your own self, and obviously then it's about your or our one consciousness. Because it's Neo or One or Now. Then we have One. We already won. 
We are already one. And we have already won. Because we are one. And only the separational aspect is basically the test for my consciousness and for the whole consciousness if we fall for it or if we are able to push through that. Now I would always go the, the natural way, the way it sh should be basically for the avatars, for the giants and remembering the original workings and it's not about a good or a bad thing, you know. I don't know if these technologies are basically helping us or, I mean, that's a question of perception. So I just go with the flow, but I don't forget the original thing, which was already in me. Sun gazing, Shivambukalpa. Sun gazing, Shivambukalpa. Movement, that's it for free for everybody. So you would then very fast figure out that a lot of things that we do are unnecessary and i you know i would do it you know i would do it but freedom is basically uh freedom is a is a quest of perception and perspective because nowadays with these mirrors we can we have all the access to um information kids are all over the world the kids are the keys for the future so this is why i'm always stressing you know inform the keys inform the kids with your knowledge that you think is valuable for the next generation you don't have to go to the africas to, to all the poor people i mean i'm not denying that they are suffering but you know what you know how many people in the in the rich districts are suffering because they're suffering from literally a freaking damn illusion, which is fucking up their minds also. So and the sun is shining all over the world. Urine is always accessible right where you are. Movement is accessible right where you are. Your mind is accessible right where you are. So it's already whole already holy you can train with guess what you can train with freaking woods you can train with that you can train with these things all right <laughs> come on all right so polarian star seeds um, white tigers seeding knowledge and the kids getting some pads and taking care about you know, each and every human, each and every soul, each and every black light, white light. And also enjoying, you know, joy is, is a task for me. It's, it seems crazy, right? Because once you've accessed higher consciousness, a lot of things just dissolve and uh, tolerance and acceptance, tools and rents, childlike mind, ch childish altar, chaos magic. And I see this is only my own delusion, you know. In the end, this is my own illusion. This is my own troublemaking process, basically. <laughs> Which is kind of sad or kind of crazy in the end, you know. But, like I said, raising the little white tigers into their Polarian starseed truth. Mind Ojas sharing gnosis all chemical elixirs <laughs> thank you um stay in the move drink shivambukalpa go out in the sun and inform the keys i love you <laughs>